Welcome ladies and gentlemen, it is Targran and I'm here once again to talk to you about the lore of League of Legends. In this particular episode we're staying in the noble families of Demacia and we'll focus on two young ladies who have chosen the path of blood and steel, not art and politics. I am of course talking about Fiora Laurent, the Grand Duelist, and Shauna Vane, the Night Hunter. Enjoy. Valoran was not always a civilised place that it had been now. A long time ago it had been dark and mysterious and dangerous for everyone. Some chose to ignore that fact and live in the present while others tried to explore the path of the dark primal magic, which is dangerous and hard to control, and are often corrupted and destroyed by the forces that they use. Not only that, but many creatures of the past still lurk in the darkness. Many people do not know about that, others are never told about dangers of the world. While some peasants are still slightly superstitious, nobles are even rarely told about such inferior matters. The young girl, Shauna of the House Vane, was a good example. She never realised the existence of dark forces that are not commonly known. Young and naive, she was convinced there was no evil in the world, as good wizards took care of it. Her expectations had brutally met with reality when her family had been attacked by a vicious witch in the safety of their own home. She has somehow tricked guards in the family mansion and entered the house unseen. Before anyone could react, her spells had trapped off all of Shauna's family members. The hag had been torturing them for long hours before finally letting them die, leaving the house without trace. Luckily, the witch did not notice the youngest member of the house, Vane, hiding in her room. As soon as she felt safe, Shauna had run away from the family house, haunted by the screams of her dying relatives. The young girl had been deeply shaken by those events and they've changed her forever. She's lost all love, all mercy that she had. Her only purpose was to avenge her family's death as the last living member. She started using Vain as her own name, using the money of her father. She had hired instructors to train her in the art of combat and strategy. The young woman was quickly grown to become a fearsome warrior, but instead of making her way to the battlefields as a soldier, she started a personal crusade. Her goal was to protect Demacia from dark darkness lurking in the hearts of men. She was intended to dispose of those who used dark magic and allow the citizens of Demacia to live in peace. Using old connections of her family, Vane had managed to gain slight significance as a night hunter, a position that she had forged for herself. Those who use dark magic are often afraid of Vane coming after them, as her skills and determinations have become almost legendary. That caused her to be approached by summoners of the League not long after its creation. The Night Hunter had been reluctant at first, but then she would accept the offer. Not because she wanted to prove anything, she accepted it. Because she was afraid of the League and how recklessly it was calling champions that had been not only corrupted by dark magic, but sometimes even completely dependent on it. Vane needed to watch this organisation and not allow it to become too dangerous. Fiora Laurent's past has been far less dramatic, but it has not been an easy one either. Despite the impression that some champions in the league give, Demacians are not always using huge swords or spears. Many noble families solve personal issues with duels. For centuries, fencing and dueling have been basic abilities for most nobles, just like the art of politics. Every noble house can name at least a few good duelists that hail from their family, but duelists of House Laurent have been always superior to the others. As a child of House Laurent, Fiora had considered herself to be destined for success, glory and greatness. She had always been doing anything she could to make the best impression. Her greatest goal was to surpass her own father, who had been almost a legend amongst Demacian nobles. Years of training had been difficult, but they allowed Fiora to improve much faster than her other siblings. She had been very confident about her own skills, and never hesitated to show them off. Many have considered that to be a sign of arrogance. Fiora didn't care much for their opinion, all she wanted was to match up with her father, and she was getting closer and closer to her greatest goal. Fiora has become famous for many duels that she fought on the streets of Demacia, but also her sharp tongue. She would often face anyone who stood in her way, not only to prove her superiority, but to use an opportunity to train her style. It soon turned out that Fiora had picked the wrong role model. When her father had been caught poisoning his opponent's drink the night before a great duel that had been scheduled for a long time. This treachery had not only put her father's honour under question, but it also ruined the great reputation of House Laurent. Outraged by her own father, Fiora had challenged him to a duel over control of the house. The duel had not been easy, 
as he had fought fiercely and brutally. But Fiora had noticed that he had lost much of his old discipline. He still had the technique that made him famous, but none of his own self-control, and he would soon start making mistakes. With a swift move, she knocked this sword out of her father's hand and demanded him to surrender. Yet Fiora realized that even with her in control, the house's reputation was still tainted. She found a new goal to prove everyone that she was not only the greatest duelist of Demacia, but the whole of Valoran as well. She will not agree for anything less than worldwide acknowledgement of her mastery in dueling. In order to gain that, she started looking for the best warriors of Valoran, and she soon approached the League of Legends, asking for the opportunity to prove her skills against the best that Valoran has to offer. And that's all that happens to be. Do not worry, next videos are always being worked on. Let us know if you like this video by pressing the like button and adding it to your favorites. You can also leave your feedback in the comment section below if you want to show us even more support. You can head over to the Facebook page or follow us on Twitter. If you can't wait for any new episodes, you can always go back and watch all the previous ones in the annotation above. And as always, I'll see you next time.